Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing well. For anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode, we're going to be covering all of the details concerning the brand new Max Raid event that's running right now in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So we're actually a little bit late to the party here with this event. It kicked off yesterday on the 4th of February. As of recording, today it is the 5th, but don't worry, we still have plenty of time to take advantage of this event and make sure that we can contribute ourselves, because we'll get into the details in a minute. But uh, um, first of all, we'll jump over to Cerebi, our trusty source. All the links will be down in the description. You can see the current event that is running right now is in conjunction with the brand new movie that's actually just about to come out, which is Secrets of the Jungle. Um, and it is the event itself running from the 4th of February, which was yesterday, um, until the 8th of February, which would be Monday. So like I say, it's lots of time to take advantage of this event. Um, and it's a little bit of a different event to your normal ones because it's got kind of some hidden factors behind it so uh, you can see the february special max raid event uh, features a tie-in with the movie secrets of the jungle and features increased appearances of pokemon from the movie including cramorant this event has got a special bonus of distributions from february the 10th if enough players defeat cramorant so that's the aim of the game here you've got to defeat as many cramorants as you can uh, do your bit do your bit for the community that's all i'll say so if 500,000 pe people beat uh, Cramorant, all players will receive a gift of a flame orb. They'll also get a toxic orb and a light ball, all very useful competitive items. Obviously, the light ball, very useful for Pikachu, and uh, the flame orb and toxic orb, really nice items as well. Uh, if you haven't got access to Cramorant, and uh, your only way is to go through the Pokemon League, which is a, a super ho horrible grind. Um, and then, so that's 500,000 players beat it. If a uh, 1 million players defeat Cramorant over this over this event. Uh, all players will receive a gift of a gold bottle cap, three bottle caps, and three pearl strings. So there's some nice items there. The pearl strings would be good for money uh, in the game, and then the bottle caps are good for kind of training your Pokemon. So this is the event. We'll have a look, a deep dive into the actual Pokemon that you can get. Obviously, Cramorant. We've already mentioned it's going to be in every star rating. You can see that the event runs from the 4th to the 8th, like I say, from yesterday, Thursday of recording this, to Monday, this coming Monday. Um, one star raids, you're going to get Cramorant, Cramorant, Flygon, Golurk, Quagsar, and Ndidi. So some really nice Pokemon here. Uh, that are going to be available, even in the one star raids, which is great. Um, item wise, there's nothing really that sticks out to me kind of normal standard stuff that we're going to get dynamax candies armor items and things like that then we move on to the two star raids going to be exactly the same as the one star raids uh three star raids again going to be exactly the same uh items are increasing obviously the uh the, the different pokemon the higher stars that we're going in the four star once again exactly the the same but uh, with a variation of items you're going to get more and then this is where it gets a bit juicy with our five star raids because this is where you've got an opportunity to catch a shiny Cramorant in this event which is you know it's one of the best shinies I think that we've got in Sword and Shield out of that new cohort of Sword and Shield Pokemon the orange Cramorant it's definitely a nice looking shiny so it's definitely one to try for I would I would say it's only going to appear in five star raids so bear that in mind when you are hunting it um that it has to have the five star to have the opportunity and it has only got a two percent chance to appear as a shiny but it is going to be a guaranteed square shiny if you do come across it which is also very nice the rarer shiny uh the rest of the pokemon are exactly the same as the other stars so no variance there and the items you're just going to get an increased amount unless you defeat cramorant where you get kind of a smaller amount of items for some reason you don't get the berries and the tms but regardless of that the aim of the game over this weekend is obviously beat the cramorants try and get yourselves a shiny one and there is no variation between uh game copies so whatever is in sword is exactly the same in shield and vice versa so these are the pokemon that you can come across this weekend um as i say it is running just to remind you from the 4th of february to the 8th of february so we got to monday to take advantage of this and just chip in just beat one cramorant this weekend that's all you would need to do and that is your contribution towards getting those gifts but the big prize here is always going to be the shiny cramorant so try your best to get that one it's always nice to take advantage of these events while they're running and i'm sure with the 25th anniversary coming up pokemon day coming up just around the corner we're gonna have lots of opportunities to get these pokemon as well okay let's hop into game so once you're in the game all you would need to do is come to a den you're gonna want to 
spawn the den and make sure it is one of the event Pokemon. Delibird, leave me alone. Um, so you want to make sure that it is an event den. Um, you can only get these through red beams and what you want to do once you've spawned it, this is a really good place. I've covered it in previous videos that I've done on the max raid events. Run between these two, drop on wishing pieces until you get that uh, den appearing. And once you've got it, what you can do then to update your news is just come to mystery gifts. We've done this before. Uh, get wild area news from here. It will just take a minute to connect to the internet and it will update you. So we're actually connected to the internet now. I don't really want to be because for what we may be doing to manipulate the den, um, I'm just going to show you guys how to do that. If we click into the den, you can see the Quagsire here is popping up. It is part of the event. Now, if you're just wanting to hunt the Cramorants, what you're going to do is invite others. It's just going to be the date skip glitch. Really easy. Make sure you're offline. Come down to system settings, system, date and time. Make sure your synchronized clock is off. Skip the day forward, one day, okay it. We've done this a million times. Come back into the game, into the den. Just quit out of the den and you will inadvertently trick the game to think the day's passed. Click back into the den and the Pokemon will change. So you just do this over and over again until you come across that five star Cramorant. The same goes for if you're hunting for the shiny, if you get a five star Cramorant, you're doing this process, just save in front of it before you enter the den. If it's not shiny, then you just reset the game, come back to it and skip again until you get the Cramorant. And there we go, see, here we are. There's a five star Cramorant. So I do plan on hunting this uh, the shiny variant myself, so I'm going to save this one and um, hopefully it would be amazing for the first time ever if we could come into this for one of these guides uh, and just get the shiny. It would be amazing, but I don't know. It's going to be hard. 2% chance. Very hard to get. Let's see what we got. Just the regular old camera, but never mind. Okay, I will continue on off camera trying to get this. If I do get it, I'll be hosting it over on my Discord at some point this weekend. But this is going to be one camera that I will be able to defeat. And uh, it goes towards that contributing total at the weekend. So this is just a quick update video today. I hope it's been useful for you. Hopefully, uh, for those of you that didn't know it was running, you're not going to miss this event and uh, get the opportunity to catch a Cramorant. Good luck. And uh, down in the comment section below, if you do manage to get the, the shiny Cramorant, please let me know. I love hearing all the stories about all of you that take part in these events and manage to get these really rare shinies when you've got the opportunity to. So have a great weekend, friends. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you all again for another episode very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.